another movie that I would recommend, uh, my dad actually turned me on to it, is this film from 2001 called Last Orders. It's a British movie. It's got just a great all-star cast. You know, um, Michael Caine, Bob Hoskins, Ray Winstone, a young Ray Winstone. I think this is around the time he was doing Sexy Beast. But it's just a... He wants some just really sharp acting. Um, this is from the Wikipedia page. It's a, it's a, about the final wishes of a dying man. Um, this is Michael Caine. Uh, in this instance, Jack Dodds is his character's name. And he's an East London butcher who really touched all these four guys that were his best friends throughout his life. So the quartet gathers to scatter Jack's ashes in Margate, where he'd hoped to retire it's a small seaside sort of place in England with his wife, Amy, who's played by Helen Mirren. And he never got to do it. So it's this wistful kind of bittersweet working class English drama. <clears throat> and um, it's, just, it's just great. I would actually even argue that this is an example of naturalism. Um, like in the theatrical sense. Like, naturalism was a movement in uh, 20th century drama where they try to recreate life as closely as possible. And the locations, the actual geography, the hills, the streets, the specific roads are as important to the story as the people and the actions that they perform. And if you want to understand this concept really well, you read Chekhov's letters to his brother, um, Chekhov was actually, he was a doctor, you know, and he, when he was writing his plays, he said he wanted to, quote unquote, put the slide under the microscope so they could look at society and look at the behavior of the organisms in it and diagnose it and eventually cure it. But that's, um, so in the course of the movie, they work their way to the sea to scatter this guy's ashes, but they stop all at farms where Michael Caine and his wife met when they were younger. And this is where the younger cast really shines. The younger cast are actually 2020s. Now they're not that young anymore. You might recognize a lot of them from um, Boardwalk Empire, etc. But it's just fantastic um, piece of drama. And, um, you know, I'd recommend it. I, was, I would also recommend Chekhov's letters to his brother. I would also recommend most Chekhov, but Chekhov's difficult for Westerners to understand. That wine doesn't really travel. I went to a master class one time at Villanova, and uh, there was a guy that worked at the Vakhtanov Theater in Russia before Perestroika, and his English was kind of shitty, but he gave a reading of Chekhov where it all of a sudden it it clicked how it was funny. On the page, it's like, how are you? Fine. How are you? Great. And you have to, that's, that's the soul of the, of the Russian experience that spoke the life into those lines. Because as Westerners, we read it and we're like, how do we make this funny? And uh, the way he did it, he's like, how are you? Mm, fine. How are you? Great. And I was like, uh, I, it, I got it all of a sudden of how you need to understand what, uh, what this guy was doing when he wrote these words or the, the, the soul that was supposed to be spoken into these things. There's a movie with Paul Giamatti about this too where he, his soul becomes too much of a burden so he puts it in cold storage. Cold souls. Great idea, funny premise, but the movie's just okay. So he finally gets the soul of this old Russian woman and he's doing a Chekhov play in the movie. He's doing Uncle Vanya and all of a sudden he's just shredding and he's crying and laughing and, and the, brings the whole text to life. But I would say this movie, Last Orders, is actually a wonderful example of uh, English naturalism. Um, puts the slide under the microscope. Check it out.